Hi everybody, Elliot Barry, your resident road safety expert from Mobility Engineering, back again for another Q&A. Keep those questions coming, we love them. And as I always say with my trusty subscribe pillow, hit the button that looks a bit like this pillow down there somewhere and give us your love and support to get to a thousand subscribers and we'll keep that wonderful content coming. All right, let's get into today's question. So today's question, I'll just chuck my trusty pillow over there. Today's question is about this wonderful uh, contraption or device called the Bruno Chariot, a Bruno Chariot trailer. So this product is a fully registrable trailer that can carry your heavy powered mobility devices, wheelchair devices, uh, it doesn't even have to be powered, but your heavier devices, mobility scooters and things like that, with ease, uh, nice and easily to use, nice and easy to drive around, and out on the outside of the vehicle you can get covers and all that kind of thing for it. But this is not necessarily a sales pitch on the product, it's to explain can the product be registered and can it be used as a trailer? Uh, because there's been a bit of confusion on the market around it and um, we just thought we'd explain how it works just to uh, clear up, clarify it for everybody. So first of all, uh, the answer is yes, it can be registered and it, yes, it is classified as a trailer. It causes a bit of confusion because it looks doesn't look like your standard trailer that you would normally see. However, in Australia, there is a, a code of practice on how to build and manufacture and comply trailers. And this product um, has been assessed and it's been passed and certified and tested in accordance with that code of practice, which is VSB1. And then once that gets done, um, through the federal government and through the approval process, what you get done is you have attached a plate, which if you come closer, you will see here um, for the Bruno Chariot. It specifically says that this is manufactured to comply with the Motor Vehicle Standards Act of 1989. So that's a plate that you would see on a trailer. It's got the uh, manufacturer on it, and it's basically the Australian federal government guidelines requires that once you meet certain requirements and you've done all the testing which this product has then you have that plate affixed to your trailer and then it's a fully registrable road going trailer as i said it causes confusion because when you look at it it doesn't look like your normal trailers on the road so how does it work and why is it sitting on the ground i'll give you a quick little rundown of that as well uh, so you can understand how it is and how it's a trailer so first and foremost um, this is when it's engaged on the ground. You would basically bring your mobility scooter up to it or your powered device up to it, either if it's a care assist or if you can be mobile enough to get on and off. Uh, you, it's sitting down on the floor, it goes straight on and your occupant comes off. Um, then what you would do is you'd raise it up and as you raise it up, you, will find, um, you, will, you might find a little bit of adjustment as it raises up. So nice and sturdy, gets your, your wheelchair up and in place and we'll do a slight adjustment on it as well, like so, lock you in place and now it's, we engage the safety lock as well, we engage the safety lock and now it's fully locked in and this is how it drives around as a trailer. It's got all the approved lights, it's got a number plate, it's got the number plate lights, number plate holders, it's got a hitch. Everything is marked according with the Australian standards and basically you drive around like this, with this sitting on the back. The thing which makes this a unique product is that the, there is no hitch and articulation point on the hitch. The trailer articulates, but it articulates on the wheels, so it's, the wheels actually spin. So what that means is when I'm reversing, I can reversing, reverse park into a parking spot. I can reverse into my garage and the trailer won't sway all over the place, it will just follow my car. So it makes it a lot easier to use, really easy to load up and down, and when I'm finished with it, I, I disengage my lock and I bring it down. And I'm not going to do that because we don't want to just, I guess, see that in the video, um, but effectively that's uh, how it does. Just the reverse of it just comes and sits down and I undo my straps and I pull it off. Fully tested um, with over 4 million miles in America of road miles testing uh, and so it's a very, very safe product. Uh, full highway use, highway tyres, everything is fully complied uh, for Australian roads uh, and it's been manufactured and modified to suit the roads here and fully certified. So yes, it can be a registered road going trailer. Hopefully that still helps out with your inquiries and your questions around the chariot trailer. And as I always say, hit that subscribe button that looks a bit like this pillow down there. Get us to a thousand subscribers and we'll love you for that. Thanks very much. See you next time.